guys, Kim here with another episode of Kim TV. Of course, this is the tutorial version. And today I wanted to show you how you can create gorgeous lead magnets and PDFs and freebies that you can offer your audience inside of Canva. And you can do it really easily and in a way that's very simple. So I wanted to show you kind of what I've been up to with my lead magnets. This is my lead magnet folder here inside of Canva for work. And um, although you might not have a Canva for work account, you can still create these beautiful uh, lead magnets inside of the platform. But I wanted to show you my folder so you guys can see more or less um, how I use them and I've created so many over the years both for myself and for clients so I wanted to give you like an idea of what you can create and so this one was for one of uh, my plastic surgeons and it was the modern women's guide to breast augmentation six things you should know before your first consultation and so you can see that you can use this across different industries um, to create some beautiful, beautiful lead magnets. Uh, this even applies to ebooks, uh, PDF worksheets, handouts, uh, anything that you can uh, provide for your audience that really just increases the value of whatever it is that you're offering to them. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you how you can create these beautiful lead magnets in three very simple steps. So we're going to go over to our Canva account right over here, and I'm going to go through and show you how to uh, do this in three easy or simple steps. The first thing you want to do is decide the dimensions of your PDF. I strongly recommend an 8 by 5 uh, by 11, so that's just a standard page size. And of course, you have multiple options if you click here um, inside the dis different types of designs that Canva has already set up for you. And you can also create your own dimensions if you want to do that. But there's different dimensions in the document section. You can use the, the, the regular US letterhead, um, an A4, which is a little bit slimmer. And then you have the same dimensions but different templates. So you have letterhead examples and then magazine examples. And so I want to show you both of these so you can see and, and start to get a little bit more inspiration in terms of what you want to create. So the first one I want to show you is just the magazine layout. It's a very simple, you know, 8 by 5 blank slate. But what I want you to see is the really cool examples right over here. So you can get inspired and start getting an idea for what you want to create um, for this specific lean magnet. Now, for today's example, I'm actually going to use a blank document because um, we want to be as creative and as original as possible. But if you want to start with something like this, you know, this design is free and you can go in and just like tweak it and make it super beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous you can see it's really cool but I wanted to start with a blank slate so I can show you um, what you can do so we're gonna start with a new page and I'm gonna uh, just clear this out and the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out what I want to write in my or not write design in my cover uh, image so let's say that your lead magnet does have a cover uh, image which I think most of you know whatever you create should just because it makes it look more professional and just more visually appealing so for this example I'm going to use the ultimate copywriting guide that's what our lead magnet is going to be called so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click on elements and I'm gonna grab a grid so that I can upload a background image and I already have a couple of images uploaded um, on my Canva account from stock images that you know I, I've gathered or purchased and you can always go in here and simply type uh, you know the image that you want to find and, and maybe uh, pay Canva a dollar to use it that's usually how much it costs but for me I already have images that I like and I'm going to uh, use all right, so I'm going to click on this lifestyle picture folder, which is where I have a bunch of my stock images, and I'm going to pick an image that is vertical. So because I have this type of document, usually if you pick a more of like a horizontal image like this one, um, it's going to stretch the image too much. So I'm looking for a vertical image, and this is perfect. You see it right here? Cool. So I'm going to add that here, and then let me go in and delete this page. So we start with a blank slate. And then I'm going to go in and just going to make it pretty simple. I'm going to grab 
um, some a font, and then I'm going to type in the ultimate copy writing guide. Cool. So of course you can't see it right now, but I promise we're going to make it bigger and a lot cooler looking. All right. So I'm going to go in and edit the text spacing, spacing so I can make this line height a little bit uh, smaller. And I think I'm actually going to, hmm, let's see, let's, let's play with the colors. Let's try a yellow and see what this looks like with a fun font. So let's see what we can find here on Canva. Um, I'm looking for like a, a font that really makes a statement. But obviously, if you already have a font uh, that you use in your branding, that's probably something you want to incorporate just to keep everything consistent. But since we're just playing with this one, um, I think I'm going to go with something a little bolder. So, all right, cool. So here we are. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Sweet. And play with the colors, see what stands out. Hmm. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Because this image um, is a little bit darker than, I mean lighter than I probably would want it to be, um, or it doesn't contrast with the actual text or the font doesn't contrast, I'm going to actually do a little bit of a, a filter on it. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to grab just a block, just a shape, and then I'm going to play with the color. So I'm going to try white and I'm going to lower the transparency down here. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to move this filter, or this shape that we created to the back so that the actual image stands out or the font stands out and I'm going to change the color and see what I like here. Hmm. So black actually makes it look pretty good. Let's try like a green. Hmm. I'm going to play with the yellow. I think the yellow is going to work, but we need a darker shade. All right. And we can play here with the colors just to see kind of what they look like. Mm, I think yellow is not going to work too well with the light. So maybe we could do bright yellow and then darken the filter. So we can play a little bit with the colors. All right, that looks sweet. And then I'm just going to see, that looks pretty good. I'm going to change the transparency a little bit. So I don't want to make it too dark. Let's see. See how that like just changes it completely? So I'm just going to use this one. Awesome. And so let's play with the font a little bit. Let's see if we can find something different. Just to see like how it changes according to, to the fonts. Let's try yellow tail. Okay, this is cool. Um, I don't love it, but it's cool. So we can find something else, like let's try Ultra. And this one's <laughs> too much. And so you can go through and just find, you know, whatever font floats your boat and you think looks good and actually uh, makes some kind of statement if that's what you're looking to do. I really like all of these. They're pretty neat. Okay, I really like this one. Cool. So we're going to stick with this one and then I'm just going to add one more uh, layer of fonts here and I'm going to say free download and I'm going to make this a little bigger and then I'm going to go in here and place this in uppercase and I'm going to separate the letter spacing a little bit and probably going to make this smaller Let's try 29. Okay, this seems to be pretty good. And 
I might keep the black and then just make it bold. Yep. Okay. I like this. So just play with whatever you have and kind of, um, you know, make it your own. And of course, I'm going to add here my URL. But you can also add your logo, uh, your Twitter handle, whatever you think is going to um, help bring more awareness from your subscribers to your online assets. So whatever it is that you think is going to work, again, you can use your logo or you can use handles or you can just use your name. And so I love this. <laughs> I love this cover photo. All right. So step number two is coming up with your content page. So whatever the content is going to be, we're going to add it in your content page down here. Again, I would strongly recommend you try out a template um, from, you know, the layouts because there's a lot of them. So for example, this would be a really cool uh, layout for the content page. As you can see, like they have uh, a really cool title up here and then they have, you know, a couple of uh, text, I guess just like, you know, just text box up here that indicate the issue, uh, the actual issue month, and then you have um, some really nice layouts of like the, the actual paragraph here. But you can also use something like this. This is, of course is a paid template. Um, it just saves a lot of time when it comes to organizing your content. So I'm going to actually tweak this one to show you what you can do with it. But you can also start from scratch and just model these. Um, just if you want more originality, um, of course, that's always a good thing. So for us, we're going to change up, of course, um, you know, the the actual font here. I'm probably going to do like a darker yellow, and then I'm going to change the actual fonts over here. Cool. And of course, you can fill out, you know, say eight steps to the perfect headline copy or something like that um, and just make it really personal right so we can do here give me minutes and then I can change the color but you you kind of get the idea of having uh, just customizing this and personalizing it to make it you and fit the content that you're trying to add here. So I'm going to again look for uh, an image. Maybe I'll try something like this. And then I'm going to double tap it so we can move it over. All right, I want to center this over here. Cool. And so because this is more of a magazine layout, um, you can choose to do whatever you want. Maybe you want to add in here a couple of calls to action or you want to link to other resources. For me, I'm actually going to remove this section altogether because I'm going to move the content all the way to the other side. So I'm going to move this, place it right here, and then I'm going to select all of these elements, move them here, and then I'm going to make this image, I'm just going to move this, and I'm going to make this image a little wider. All right. And you get the idea. I don't know why it's doing that, but if I refresh it, I'm sure it'll change. So let's make this title a little bit longer here. And are you starting to see how it just becomes completely different? You can just customize it to look a lot like what you would actually write. So instead of doing this, we could do become copy writing master. By Kim Jimenez. And then we read of course, import the text right here. And I'm actually going to move this element, which is really cool. Move it over here. 
and then we can either insert two columns here or just make this one one big column so it's totally up to you um, and that's literally the first page of your lead magnet it's really simple to customize and and to create and then when you are getting ready to create the second one you can simply click copy this in this page um, and then you have the second page that you can customize but the important part here is to just create a template for your content page so that you can replicate it and then tweak it as you go along and you add more content so once we have this ready we have our cover photo we have our content pages and we're ready to export it and then what we're going to want to do is click download and then you're going to if you're going to print it you want to click on pdf for print but if you're going to deliver it digitally you can just have a pdf standard and so you want to download it as a pdf standard and canva is going to export it and turn it into this beautiful masterpiece that you can then then offer your audience uh, as a little freebie or a little lead magnet. And that's how simple it is. I mean, it literally can take you maybe 15 minutes to get this done. Once you have, of course, the content laid out and your lead magnet actually written down, but it's a really simple process. And I absolutely think that it's super easy and something that, all right, so here it is. I'm actually going to get smaller so you can see it but it looks great and it was done really easily it's just you know something that we designed really quickly um, and there's a lead magnet and you can instantly just make your content look so much more professional so much more valuable um, and it really branding just steps your game up completely when it comes to uh, presenting your content um, in, in a more of an authentic way, but it also can elevate your authority, can make you seem a lot more legit, and I'm sure that you are legit, so you want to definitely uh, help translate that into your content. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to give me a big thumbs up over on YouTube. Come over to my blog, my website over at KimberlyAnnHimenez.com and sign up for email updates. We're releasing a brand new course called Zero to Branding. It's actually in beta right now. So if you want more details about that, you can go over to KimberlyAnnHimenez.com forward slash brand and you'll be redirected to our insider list so you can sign up for that and get more details about the course i'm super excited to be releasing it and i can't wait to hear what you are creating inside of canva so definitely leave me a comment below and uh, let me know how you like this video if you have any questions at all i pop into the chat ever so often and answer those questions for you so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next episode of kim tv bye for now